Yeah, I think, you know, I'm fascinated by the question as well. And I think certainly one of the many things that 2020 has taught us is that you really can't predict what's going to happen in the future. Um, I do think, I think a few things are happening. I think, unlike a lot of folks, I think this will end up being a year of strengthening for things like synagogues, churches, community centers, meditation centers, other kinds of community. Um, partly because absence makes the heart grow fonder uh, and partly because, you know, the, the chips are down right now. You know, people are really hurting and places and um, techniques and communities that can kind of address that, I think are thriving uh, or at least becoming more necessary, even if they're not thriving, certainly on a material level, they're not, but you know, in terms of their relevance uh, it is higher maybe than it was before. So I think that's true for any kind of traditional Judaism, but also the various hybrids that you and I like, uh, whether it's Uju or any other one. Um, you know, I think the, what matters are some of the basics, you know, community and support and comfort, some glimpse of the transpersonal, a search for meaning, um, healing, and, uh, and people who can help with that on all different levels. And those for me feel very real. And the, the, the forms of religious or cultural practice and community that deliver those things um, seem to me more valuable than ever. And those that don't, I think, are on shaky ground. 